After we finished editing our pictures in Lightroom, we're going to bring them into an application called Photoshop Express. You can download this for free from the App Store. I'll open it up here. I've got two examples that I'll show you. This is one where we don't have a blank wall behind the person. If you can notice this, uh, it looks a little bit distracting trying to combine all the, the different layers together. Um, if you have that much busyness going on in the background behind the person. So that's why we're going to have a photo of a person without anything going on behind. So that way when we combine our pictures together, it's going to look a little bit more, uh, you know, less distracting and we just have that texture from the other two pictures that are built into it. So uh, right when you open up Photoshop Express, you're going to see three options along the top. Edit, Collage, and Mix. We want to be in Mix. That's where you can create a new project with the different layers. First, click on the person picture. You're going to bring that portrait in. So along the, uh, the screen here, there's a few different things that I want you to know about. First of which is this little slider bar. Um, when you open up one of the tools in uh, Photoshop Express here, you're going to probably see a slider with most of them. Um, that You can move that back and forth to change one of the tools. Now in this situation, it's changing how see-through the layer is. So that's something to uh, you know, know about for our, our future layers that we're going to put on. Off to the right-hand side of the screen, there's going to be uh, all of the layers that are part of the, uh, the, the project um, will show up there. You can click the lower right-hand corner if you want to have that disappear or reappear. How we add in another layer is going to be a plus sign on there. Down along the bottom of the screen, there are a lot of different options for different tools within Photoshop Express. We'll primarily be using um, the cutout tool, this little pencil tool, which allows us to change the blending mode for uh, the picture. And then we're going to be using um, this tool right here next to that PS symbol. This is how you add in a color layer. To start with, though, we're going to um, add in our next picture layer. So we're going to click the plus symbol. And we're going to add in our landscape picture next. With that picture on there, um, we can resize it by using our fingers to expand or contract the picture. You want it to go to the edges for sure, but you can move the image around um, as you'd like if you prefer a different uh, type of composition. From there, we're going to um, change the blending mode. So instead of being an edit, we're going to go to blend. And we're going to change this to be an overlay. All of these blending modes do different things for how a layer appears within a Photoshop document. So these are good things to just try out and see what happens. Um, you'll find out, you know, you may want to use a different blending mode than what I used. Um, that's okay. The reason I'm using overlay is that um, you'll still see most of the image below, which is the person. And uh, it provides kind of a nice look. You can change how see-through that layer is still right here with the slider. So if you want the image to show more or less, we can do that. Um, the other thing that we're going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the picture away from just within the face of the person. So that way it doesn't show um, the image quite as much, especially around their eyes. So with the layer selected of the um, landscape, I'm going to click now on that little cutout symbol here. I'm going to go to custom and I'm going to use the brush. This is how you can change the size of the brush to make the, uh, the edit work faster or slower or get more detailed if you're using a small brush. So I'm going to paint right where the person is. Now this is the opposite of what I want to have. So I'm actually going to go over to Refine now, and I'm going to click Invert. Because I want to get rid of the picture just a little bit within um, where the person's face is going to be. Then I'm going to go to Feather, and I don't want to have a real hard line. Um, instead, I'm going to go with a real blurred line for my selection. Then click back to the pencil on the bottom to see how it looks. 
Great, if you feel like you got rid of too much of the picture, you can go back in to the cutout here and you can add more in to your selection if you wanted to have more of the picture show up. Then go back to the pencil and you can see how it looks. All right, so with that layer done, now we're gonna add in another layer, which is the texture. So here's my texture picture. I'm going to rotate the picture and I'm going to resize it so that way it goes all the way to the edge of the frame. And I'm just gonna move it to uh, an area where I think it might be interesting. Maybe I'll have a little bit of this. This is a, uh, a planter um, in this room that I'm working in here. Now I'm gonna change the blending mode. Now, maybe I use overlay, maybe I use something like soft light. Um, and I'm gonna reduce the opacity on the layer, so make it a little bit see-through. And then I'm gonna do the same thing that I did on the previous layer, where I still wanna be able to see their face pretty clearly. So I'm going to cut out from this layer where the person's face is going to be. So again, I just brush where the person's face is. I'm gonna to go to refine, I'm gonna invert that. I'm gonna feather it. And then I'm gonna go back to the pencil tool on the bottom here to see how it looks. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Maybe I wanna do a, a little bit of movement on this to move the texture down a little bit. There we go. So you can always click in on a different layer to change how it looks. And that eyeball, you can turn it on and off to see how the effects are affecting everything else. All right, next I'm gonna add in a color layer. So I'll hit the plus symbol here. Oops. That would be if I wanted to add another image and I um, actually need to move down on the bottom here to change a color in. Now, uh, you can choose a mood that you wanna have in your project. Warm colors are tend, to, uh, tend to have a little bit uh, of a different feel than cool colors would. So um, I think there's already quite a bit of cool in this picture. Uh, so I'm gonna you know, just try another kind of cool layer and we'll see how this looks after I change the blending mode. Click on the pencil, and then I'm gonna just try soft light. You know, you'll see all of these have a different kind of look. I think maybe, yeah, maybe we'll try hard light and then just reduce the opacity down. So I just have kind of a hint of that color coming in to the frame. All right, so here we've learned a little bit about how different layers can react. Um, as we create something uh, like a photo montage, and also um, how we can add in color too to change the mood of an artwork. After you're done with the project, you'll click in the upper right-hand corner, and I'd like you to just do that camera roll again here. That'll save it down, and then you'll be able to find that in your camera roll to turn in on Schoology.